This is your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Brian Newdorf. Another gorgeous day out there today. It was nice, yeah. and it makes doing this evening job tough. Yeah, it does. You get home, people <laughs> are out mowing the lawns, they're out cooking, they're out doing something, and I, I'm near a park, so I see all of you out yeah. enjoying it. Hopefully you got a joy from me because uh, it was uh, just too nice to be stuck indoors. But as you look here at temperatures, still not bad if you wanted to venture outside and walk the dog real quick. Uh, you can see there temperatures range from 62 degrees up towards Ketchum. Yes, 69 degrees over towards Dietrich, 64, Jerome, Twin Falls, and you got a 59 degrees there for you in the Burley area. Let's look at satellite and radar. It's been fairly quiet. We've been watching this activity over towards the west. A little band of clouds kind of pushing its way through. The activity is dying out, not making its way to the surface. So nothing for us to really worry about, but let's get you through the overnight. Very cloudy skies, partly to mostly cloudy. Temperature down to about 43 degrees. For the Magic Valley, a nice, mild overnight. And temperature by to morning down to 52. And then for the Minicaja region, you're looking at 49. Patchy clouds, comfort, comfortably cool. You might want to have the windows open, doors, whatever, to help kind of keep things uh, well, just keep things cool. Satellite and radar, we continue to see this all too familiar pattern. It just keeps creeping ever so slowly on off towards the east. The first thing we've been dealing with is this area of high pressure. It's been great. It's been pushing temperatures 80s and 90s into Canada. But for us here locally, and what we're dealing with is we've got this stalled boundary right there. It's just a, a stalled front, a stationary front. That's why it's got the warm and cold front pattern on there. But eventually, it's going to become a cold front that's going to work into our area. And then a cold, uh, low pressure system rides along it, moving in here for Friday and Saturday. Let's time things out. Future cast. Here we are at 8 o'clock in the morning. I've been explaining this, but just so you understand, these little arrow bars that shows the wind. The longer the blue arrows get, the stronger the winds. The shorter, the lighter the winds. And right now, not too much of a problem tomorrow morning. And really throughout the valleys, winds are not an issue. The winds do pick up in the higher terrain off towards the south. Heading into your Friday, 6 a.m., ah, yes, the green print there indicating some areas of scattered showers, winds coming out of the east, northeast, and we will see that. Maybe things get a bit breezy by Friday, 3 o'clock, as this system moves in here, and we might see it Friday night and into Saturday. Now let's talk about those temperatures. We were shy of 80 today. Tomorrow morning, 50 Jerome, 51 Burley, 51 and Twin, and then heading into the afternoon, you see it right there. Temperatures potentially could get to 82, 80, 79 Burley. And then continuing into your Friday morning, we've got temperatures in the 50s and then temperatures warming up to near the mid to upper 70s on the day Friday. Let's get you into the tomorrow forecast. The Wood River Valley, we've got 75 Fairfield. Carry there at 78. Uh, as you head into the Western Magic Valley, temperatures are going to be once again flirting with near 80. 79 Jerome, maybe 80. 83 Wendell, another nice day. Plenty of sunshine. That's the same thing in Twin Falls County, where we have 81 Twin, 80 for Mur Murtaugh and Buell. A good deal of sunshine, east northeasterly wind, and then w easterly wind in the Minicasia region, 78 Oakley, 78 in Malta. The Magic Valley forecast over the next seven days scattered showers. Yes, wet weather Friday and Saturday, a bit cooler. Mom looks at Mom's Day looking at 73 on Sunday, and then right about 70 Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then for the mountains, 70 on Friday. Scattered showers continuing into Saturday. Chance of a shower on Sunday for Mother's Day, and then we start a nice new week with pleasant temperatures and lots of sunshine. All right, sounds good. Thanks, residents.